there! My to-be-read pile is a bit out of control. I'm one of those people who chronically buy books when I think they're interesting because I'm really bad at borrowing books. Like seriously, the library finds that I have had. So because I'm the type of person who buys books that I want to read as opposed to borrows books that I want to read, I have a bit of accumulation. And sometimes when you have all those books sitting on your shelf that you haven't read yet, you kind of get the burden of choice where you're just like, there's so many that look interesting that you don't know what to read next. And I thought it would be a cool interactive idea if you guys, my audience, decide what I read next. I thought it was only fair since I made book review videos that you guys get to pick what book sounds interesting and that you would want to hear reviewed and it will be one of the books that is going to be in my next book reviews video. So over here I have five books that I own and have not read yet and I'm going to tell you a little bit about each one and whatever one you guys think is more interesting write down in the comments and tell me so that way I will add it to be the next book that I read. The first book on my list is On the Other Side by Carrie Hope Fletcher. It is about a woman named Evie Snow who dies but when she goes to open the door to her own personal heaven the door won't open. It turns out that your soul needs to be light enough and unburdened of deep dark secrets to be able to go through and she needs to sort of have a personal journey to go back and unburden her soul or she won't be able to get into heaven. The tagline is a love story like no other so I assume there will be some element of romance. So yeah this book looks interesting. The next book on my list is Consumed by Aaron Mankey. Aaron Mankey is the creator of the Lore Podcast, and I love the Lore Podcast, so I had to try to read one of his books. Consumed is about an aspiring author who finds himself stranded in a small Rhode Island town and people start dying. So he sort of gets caught looking for the killer before the killer can kill anyone else that he likes in this small town. It looks really interesting. I love stories where someone is stranded in a creepy place and they have to make do with what they have. It's always really interesting to me. The next book I have was recommended to me by my therapist because it just reminded her so much of me and when you see the title you will realize why. It is called Fuck Feelings. It is advertised as the last self-help book you will ever need and the blurb says while most self-help books are examining your feelings and fulfilling your dreams, Fuck Feelings will show you how to find a new kind of freedom by getting your head out of your ass and onto the right path toward realistic goals and feasible results. So this is more of a self-helpish type of book but it seems like a really interesting one and not ones that just tell you to take a bubble bath so I think this would make a good read. The next book on my list is another horror novel that seems really cool, A Head Full of Ghosts by Paul Tremblay. This book is about a family who one of the daughters is experiencing signs of demonic possession and when they turn to a priest for help the priest convinces them to let a documentary crew turn the exorcism and the events around the family into a reality television show. It sounds really twisted and creepy and I am all about creepy possession shit so let's do it. The next book dwells into my love of history. It is Buried Alive by Jan Bonson. Basically in the 1800s people were scared shitless that they may be buried alive. They had special coffins made with breathing tubes and ropes attached to bells and funeral horns and stuff. And Jan Bonson basically examines the history and folklore of people being terrified of being buried alive. It sounds really sick and twisted and interesting and it is just up my creepy little alley. Alright so those are the books that I am considering reading and you guys get to vote on in the comments 
for me to read next and I promise that whatever you vote for will be in my next book reviews video. Like this video if you like it, subscribe if that's your thing, and don't forget to vote and also leave me suggestions for more books to read because who doesn't love more books?